Earth's atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere is a layer of gases surrounding the planet. The Earth is surrounded by a blanket of air, which we call the atmosphere. It reaches over 560 kilometers from the surface of the Earth. It absorbs the energy from the sun, recycles water, and other chemicals. It protects us from high energy radiation, and the frigid vacuum of space. The Earth's atmosphere protects, and supports life. Earth's atmosphere is made of a mixture of gases, called air. Nitrogen. It is a gas makes up about 78% of Earth's atmosphere. Oxygen. It is the second most abundant gas, which makes up 21% of Earth's atmosphere. Argon it is about 0.9% of the Earth's atmosphere. There are also other gases like water vapor, carbon dioxide, ozone, and methane. Pressure varies smoothly from the Earth's surface to the top of the atmosphere. It decreases as you go high up in the atmosphere. The layers of the atmosphere. The atmosphere has four main layers namely troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. Troposphere. It is the lowest and thinnest layer, 16 kilometers at equator, 8 kilometers at poles. It is roughly 80% of the atmosphere's mass. The temperature decreases with altitude, at 6 degrees Celsius per kilometer. With the top average is minus 50 degrees Celsius, it is heated through energy transfer from the surface. This promotes vertical mixing, hence the origin of its name in the Greek word, tropos, meaning turn. The troposphere is where almost all weather occurs. The boundary between the troposphere and the stratosphere is called the tropopause. About 50% of the total mass of the atmosphere is located in the lower 5.6 kilometers, or 18,000 feet, of the troposphere. The stratosphere extends from 12 kilometers to 50 kilometers above the ground. It is less dense, due to less water vapor. Also, temperature in the stratosphere increases with altitude. There is almost no weather occurrence, and there is no air mixing. Polar stratospheric or nacreous clouds are occasionally seen in the lower part of this layer of the atmosphere, where the air is coldest. The stratosphere is the highest layer that can be accessed by jet-powered aircraft. mesosphere extends from 50 kilometers to almost 80 kilometers high. In this layer the gases are less dense. Temperature decreases as altitude increases, due to the decreasing absorption of ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The transition zone at the top of mesosphere is known as mesopause. Most meteors from space burn up in the mesosphere layer. There are also odd types of lightning in the mesosphere. These types of lightning, called sprites and dells, appear dozens of miles above thunderclouds in the troposphere below. Thermosphere. It starts at 80 to 85 kilometers and extends to almost 600 kilometers high. Temperature increases with altitude since it readily absorbs solar radiation. The temperature can go as high as 1,500 degrees Celsius. The thermosphere reflects radio waves. Also, much of the X-ray and other radiation from the sun is absorbed in the thermosphere. The Space Shuttle and the International Space Station 
both orbit Earth within the thermosphere. The aurora, or the southern and northern lights, primarily occur in the thermosphere. In here you may notice the relationship between the altitude and the temperature in each layer of the atmosphere. The four main layers of the atmosphere include the troposphere, where we live, the stratosphere, which contains the ozone layer, the mesosphere, where meteors burn, and the thermosphere, where satellites orbit Earth. The exosphere begins at about 500 kilometers above Earth and does not have a specific outer limit. Satellites also orbit Earth in the exosphere.